How you doing? I'm Zach Zufelt, and I'm here to show you how to rebuild a Simmons valve. This one's obviously got problems. They're using a <laughs> set of uh, vice grips to, um, to use for the handle. We're going to fix that. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure that the valve is open. We need to detach it from the rear wall, then we bring it back like a half a turn. Next thing we do is we remove this escutcheon cone. Now I'm going to remove the face plate. And the whole face plate is going to come out with the diverter. The diverter level right there. Just like that. Now I'm going to remove what they call the cap. I call it a bonnet nut. Now I'm going to use the Zipsy Tractor. Hallelujah. Get these old crusty seats out. So there's two wrenches. Both of them are dual acting. They take the cold and the hot seat out. The older style is the classic. You need the classic bit for. That's a square orientation. The newer style seats takes what we call the evolved bit. And that is a hexagon orientation. Now you really need to make sure that you try both bits in here to see which one's gonna fit the best. They're not both gonna fit, but you might get a false fit. So I'm gonna try first, I'm gonna try the ball bit, that's the hexagon. Now see, I can make that kind of stick in there if I push hard enough but that's not the right fit. When it fits, it's gonna sink right in. Now I'm gonna try the classic bit by hand, and that one sinks right in there. There's no question that that bit fits. If I put the wrong bit in, and it feels like it fits, but it really doesn't fit, I'm gonna strip that seat out, and then I'm gonna blame the bit. It's not the bit's fault. Then I'm gonna to have to use the classic bit to get the stripped seat out. And that's another video. So I take the classic bit and I fit that in and it locks right in for me. I take my impact rated speed bit, pop that in, and then I use my 18 volt impact gun. Put on reverse, I'm gonna push in while I'm pulling the trigger slow. It's gonna wrap, 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 depending on how seized it is, it may wrap for up to two minutes before it breaks free. I start off slow and then I give it full power. There you go. Now I'm going to take the same classic bit, fit it in the back, and see if that fits. There, that fits perfectly. Now if someone was already able to change the hot seat in the back, that might take the hexagon bit, the evolved bit, but it doesn't. This one takes the classic also. Both of these are very old seats. Again, I'm putting my 18 volt impact gun. I'm leaning into it, pulling the trigger slowly until I give it full power. Now I'm going to have to put the hot seat back in first, but I'm going to have to use the evolved bit because the new seats are hexagon. I'm going to put it in by hand. Go as far as I can. I'm going to put my impact gun in forward mode. Plug it in. Wrap tap taps. 
Now I'm going to throw the new cold seed in, and that is also hexagon. And I'm going to do it by hand. And now that's it. Next thing I'm going to do is replace this diverter. The old style so it has two screws and a face plate. I want to make sure I don't drop that face plate inside the cavity of the wall. Then there's that little brass piece in there that I gotta get out. Now I'm going to use the zip diverter extractor to get that diverter cartridge out. Unlike an easy out, this has forward thread so I want to put my impact gun in forward and I'm gonna slowly go into it till it starts turning. And then I'm gonna rock it as I'm pulling out. Just like that. Now I'm gonna replace it with another diverter belt cartridge. And if this was a shower only, this is a tub shower, if it was a shower only, that diverter cartridge would be black. It looks just the same. And all the way in. Just like that. Now I'm going to remove this old TA-10 spindle from the bonnet nut. Put this new one in. It's already packed with heat grease or plumbing grease. I want to make sure that the spindle is in the open position so I can screw it right into this. And I got the gasket already inside here. Give it a little crank. And that should be it. Now I'm going to close the valve. I'm going to tighten this packing nut, which is threaded right inside the cap. Now I'm going to test the valve. Now we're going to put the face plate back on with the diverter. Now we're going to set the temperature by turning it all the way to the bar. back on. Most discussions screw in like this. This one has this one has a nut. This is a really old Simmons legacy temporal tub shell valve. Probably 30, 40 years old.
And that's it. We just rebuilt that whole valve in like less than two minutes.